Welcome back to the Man United stream, hope you're doing well. It's Thursday morning and we've got some transfer news update. Man United are going back and forth on transfer deals. What is going on? What is the delay? There's been a stall all of a sudden this week. United seem lost when we were so confident in United's strategy a week ago. We were saying how good Ineos have been, how good the new staff have been and getting the players in. We got Zertsky in, then we did the Euro deal and we thought we were flying high. But then something has has changed suddenly it's gone back to the old United what's going on we're going to be discussing that and lots more in today's show so make sure you stick around make sure you hit the like button on this video and if you're not a subscriber to the Man United stream channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news now let's kick off today's show with news about United stalling and it's all down to you know what selling Players, United have struggled for years to sell players and it's no different this year. United's players, the senior players, the ones that we all know need to be sold. The likes of Casemiro, the likes of Lindelof, the likes of McTominay, the likes of Harry Maguire. All these players do not want to leave United. There's other players as well, like Sancho, that are potentially up for sale. We also know that Anthony should also be sold because he's been an absolute useless player for us. 100 million euros for what? What did we pay that much money for? I mean, he cannot hit a barn door. He's that terrible. And the new directors like Omar Brada, Dan Ashworth must be scratching their heads trying to work out how are they going to get rid of these players. Because without getting rid of these players, we all know we can't go out into the market and buy new talent. We can't go out there and reinforce on the positions that we need to reinforce on. Now, over the last 24 hours, there's been talk about having a crisis in the full-back area where we need to get new right-back and possibly a new left-back because Malassia is still not recovered. He's still back at Carrington whilst everybody else has gone off, flown off to the States. Malassia is still sitting at Carrington trying to recover from his injuries. It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign and we need another left back at least because we know Luke Shaw does not last the entire season. Now there has been talk in the last 24 hours about Marcus Alonso. Yes, the ex-Chelsea player now at Barcelona. There's links with him coming to United. What do you think of him coming to United? I mean, now watching Cucurella over the 2024 euros you would have liked him to be at United but clearly that boat has sailed because let's be honest United haven't got the funds and they haven't got the means to comply with the financial fair play rules by keeping all these players in the squad these high earners these players are on huge salaries they cannot stay at the club whilst they want to go and bring in new young talent this has scuppered the plans of Dan Ashworth and Omar Brada the well laid out plans about how they're going to sell players players and also bring in young talent. Our sources at United have confirmed that there's lots of frustration right now with not being able to sell players, players not actually engaging in the process, players and their agents not engaging in talks with other teams. Now yesterday we heard how Man United rejected a second bid made by Fulham for Scott McTominay. He seems the likely option that is going to get sold in this summer transfer market. The others like Casemiro, like Lindelof and not being talked about and there's no deal on the horizon it does not look good for United going forward we need to get rid of these players to go in there and then buy other players it's very very frustrating the people like Delict sat there waiting for United to make an offer and bring him to United it must be absolutely frustrating then there's other players as well that have been closely linked to United like the likes of Manuel Logarte again he has agreed personal terms, but United are not coming to the table because they haven't got the cash to come to the table. It's an embarrassing situation. I'm sure it's a situation that United will not get themselves into, especially with Ineos now on board. They will refuse to get into this kind of thing again, and they will make sure that they are not offering the players huge salaries and huge contracts, which then they can't get out of. That has been the problem, and that's all down to 
to the previous regime of the Glazers and the people that they had in charge offering these crazy, crazy contracts to these players. And these players have no incentive to now leave United. We'll bring you further developments on all the transfer news as and when we get it. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe. You are watching the Man United stream channel.